Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Second Union Baptist Church. Our mission is to promote spiritual growth, connect with the community, and to promote a deeper connection with God. Our vision is teaching, reaching, and loving. Our 2021 theme is consecration, conditioning, and commitment. Again, welcome. This is Second Union Baptist Church. We want to welcome everyone back to the sanctuary. We are extremely excited to have you back in the house of the Lord. As you all know, we are following CDC guidelines. So we are asking that during your duration here today, please remain three feet apart at all times. Please do stay in your assigned seats during the duration of the service. Again, please do not change seats. Hand sanitizer stations are located all over the church for your convenience and can be requested by seeing an usher. We're asking that you please do keep your mask on throughout the service on today. You might see signs on the screen reminding you to keep your mask on if someone has accidentally taken it off. Also on today, dismissal in the sanctuary will start from the back to the front. If you are in our overflow rooms in the library or the fellowship hall, please do use those respective exits to leave service on today. Please do not walk forward into the sanctuary. Again, please do use those respective exits as you exit on today. For those of you joining us online and by phone, and for those here in the sanctuary, we do invite you to join us on our prayer line every Tuesday and Thursday at 6.45 a.m. The number is 267-807-9495, and the code is 114-319-289-POUND. Using that same number and code, we'd invite you to join us for a Bible study. For those of you in the sanctuary, we will not be having in-person Bible study. Bible study will continue to be online via our prayer line every Thursday at 7 p.m. And that number and code again is on the screen. If you are in our sanctuary online or by phone and want to give on today, we invite you to download the Givelify app, Tap, Give, and Done. You are free to give online on today. We ask that you search Second Union Baptist Church, and as you can see on the screen, we are verified. We do appreciate your gifts in advance. If you do not want to give on today online, we ask that you can also mail it to P.O. Box 801, Goochland, Virginia 23063. Again, you are more than welcome to give online using our church website or the Givelify app. Or you can stop by today after service for those of you online or by phone. And we are happy to collect your offering that way as well. To everyone who is listening and watching online, we will be participating in Holy Communion on next Sunday. So we are asking that you please go out and get your elements so that way you are prepared for Holy Communion service on next Sunday. The Boys to Men Positive Men Ministry will be continuing their sale of sweatshirt, mask, and hats. Sweatshirts are $25, masks are $7, and hats are $12. If you are live here in the sanctuary, you can see yours truly following service to fill out the appropriate paperwork and pay. The orders will be taken until the end of the month, and the order will go through on November 28th. If you are online and by phone, you can message us on Facebook what you would like to order along with your size, and you can pay by Givelify. In the memo, please put Boys to Men Apparel. All of our Boys to Men youth are free, so please do take heed and order your apparel today. Our winter homeless program collection is underway. We do have items that you can get as we will be distributing them to Richmond, Virginia and the surrounding communities. We are looking to collect socks, deodorant, soap, knit hats and gloves, toothpaste, washcloths, wipes, a toothbrush, mask and gallon Ziploc bags. If you would like to donate, we do have a bin already in the vestibule and we greatly appreciate it. All donations are needed by Sunday, November 28th. And this is sponsored by our Glow Women's Ministry and our Boys to Men Positive Men's Ministry. We thank you for your donations in advance. All ushers are asked to remain after service on today. 
as we quickly do a debrief for five to ten minutes. Again, all ushers, please do stay behind in the sanctuary following dismissal for five to ten minutes. On behalf of yours truly and First Lady Nicole Trent, we would like to thank everyone in our Glow Women's Ministry and our Boys to Men Ministry who helped make our fall festival a grand success. We appreciate all of you. And just before we close on our announcements, we want to wish one of our members a very happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday to our lead guitarist, Mr. Matt Foster. We are excited that we are back in the sanctuary. We are going to now take a look back over the last almost two years of Praise on the Lot. Patient number one arrived here in this. He did. Facts and science, that's the only thing that's going to get us through this. We're seeing hallways with patients and doctors that are completely overwhelmed. No, 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 no. And it takes 18 days to get to the present. Correct. Every lab is fighting for itself. Every state is fighting for itself. There is a failure in the system. It creates sheer and utter chaos. She's 30 years old. She just had a baby. She's really sick. 31 employees of a local farm company have been infected by... It doesn't feel like we're essential. It feels like we're slaves. How big is this problem? Focus our thoughts on the gift God has given us in his son, Jesus Christ, who stepped down from heaven and took the form of a man so that you and I might believe, but not only believe, but receive salvation in everlasting life. some praise that we're alive we're well we're here in the sanctuary let's go ahead and stand and give them all that we've got on today we're excited to be in the house of the lord we're excited to be able to convene we're excited that we are safe under his arms we're excited that we're covered under the blood on today we're excited that we have another opportunity at life we're excited that we're alive and well we're excited that we didn't die we're excited that we're not in the ground we're excited that we can see we can hear we can experience all that god has to offer so this morning we give him praise this morning we lift you up father god we honor you this morning all honor all glory all all praise to your name. Something new in this season. Something great in this season. Not church as usual, God. We will respect your tabernacle. We will respect your 
into a house of worship. We will come excited. We will come boldly declaring the name of the Lord. This is different this time, God. Our hearts are turned towards you. Our head is turned towards you. So, God, we give you honor. God, we give you praise, and we just thank you on today. So this morning, good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back. Psalm 100 states, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him. Be thankful unto him. Be thankful unto him and bless. Bless his name for the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endureth to all generations. So again, good morning. Good morning to you online. Good morning to you on our prayer line. We say good morning to those in the back in the overflow rooms. Welcome to Second Union Baptist Church. This is the church that's going to save your life. This service is going to, things are going to turn around. The bank account may have been empty, but I'm believing God to restore. Your health may be down, but I'm believing God to restore. Your family might not be right, but God is a restorative God. So this morning, we again give him honor, glory, and praise. So let's go ahead, and before we pray, um, Angela Thurston, where you at? Happy birthday to you. Angela turns 21 on today. I guess y'all can tell I'm excited to be here. <laughs> So let's go ahead and pray. Our Father and God, you are excellent. You are amazing. You sit high and you look low. King of kings, Lord of lords, rock of ages, will in the middle of the will. We call on you on this morning. We call on you from our cars. We call on you from our bedroom. We call on you from our kitchen. We call on you listening to you on the phone, God, to shower down right now in the name of Jesus. Meet us in this sanctuary because you're already here. Touch your people in a mighty way, God. Sit the captive free. We drop off any shackles this morning that hinders us from praising you. If we got to move, we've got to move. If we got to clap, we've got to clap. If we've got to shout, we've got to shout, God, because it's all due to your name. We repent of all the times we didn't give you glory in the sanctuary. We repent when we should have stood up, but we chose to sit down. We repent when we should have gave the testimony, God, and we sat down on it, God. So today we come anew, God. Baptize us right now in your Holy Spirit. Spirit, descend upon your people. Meet them in their dry places, God. Oh, this is the day that you have made. This is the day that you have made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it, God. Move by your spirit. Move by your power. Move by your might, God. Touch our choir, God. Touch our musicians, God. Touch our pastor. From the crown of his head to the soles of his feet, God. We decree and declare this word shall and it will fall on good ground. We decree and declare we are winners. We decree and declare we are conquerors. We shall stand up and not sit down, God. We believe you for it, God. Bless those again who are watching, who are joining us by other means, God. Let everything be done in decency. Hallelujah. Decency and in order, God. We thank you. We worship you. You're great. You're holy. You're mighty. You're Jehovah. Jehovah Jireh. You're amazing. We can name every name, but it still wouldn't be enough, so we thank you again. We count it as done. It is so. Hallelujah. It is so. It's got to happen. It is so. It's coming to pass. It is so. It is done. It is so. There's a stamp of approval. It is so. And so it is. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Let's worship. Come on, y'all. Every praise, every praise, every word of worship, every praise, every praise, sing hallelujah, glory, every praise. Every praise, 
every praise, every word of worship, every praise, every praise. Every praise, every praise, every praise, every praise, every praise, every praise, every word of worship, every praise, every praise. happened to me y'all since I decided to make Jesus my choice I've been lied on I've been talked about I've been lied on I've been talked about I've been lonely anybody been lonely 
I've been hungry, but that's all right. I made up in my mind, I'm gonna hold on. I'm gonna hold on. Cause many times in life, I've been heartbroken. Many times in life, tears all in my eyes. But won't God make a way? Won't God make a way? Oh, struggling. Yes, I have, y'all. Yes, I have. I like to take time and, and tell you a few things that happened to me, y'all, since I decided to make Jesus my choice. I've been lied on. I've been talked about. I've been lied on. I've been talked about. I've been lonely. Anybody been lonely? I've been hungry, but that's all right. I made up in my mind. I'm gonna hold on. I'm gonna hold on. I'm gonna hold on. I'm gonna hold on. Cause many times in life, I've been heartbroken. Many times in life, tears all in my eyes. But won't God make a way? Somebody out there struggling and straining, won't God make a way? Oh, 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 oh struggling, straining. Yes, I have, y'all. Yes, I have. I'm going to take time and, and tell you a few things that happened to me, y'all, since I decided to make Jesus my choice. I've been lied on. I've been talked about. I've been lied on. I've been talked about. I've been lonely. Anybody been lonely? I've been hungry. But that's all right. I made up in my mind. I'm going to hold on. I'm going to hold on. Because many times in life, I've been heartbroken. Many times in life, tears all in my eyes. But won't God make a way? Somebody out there struggling and strain, but God going to make a way. Oh, Yes, I have, y'all. Yes, I have. I got to take time and, and tell you a few things that happened to me, y'all, since I decided to make Jesus my choice. I've been lied on. I've been talked about. I've been lied on. I've been talked about. I've been lonely. Anybody been lonely? I've been hungry, but that's all right. I made up in my mind, I'm going to hold on. 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 Because many times in life, I've been heartbroken. Many times in life, tears all in my eyes. But won't God make a way? Somebody out there struggling and straining, he'll make a way. Oh.
sing him, oh Lord. Oh, oh Lord. Oh Lord. We praise. Oh Lord. We praise. Sing him, oh Lord. Sing it one more time, oh Lord. Oh Lord. I was thinking the other day about the joy that came my way. The things that had me bound, how you took away my frown. I was thinking of the times when I was walking in the days. It's a day I stand before you, Lord. Giving you the praise of Lord. We praise. Oh Lord. We praise. Oh Lord. We praise. Oh Lord. I was thinking the other day about the joy that came my way. The things that had me bound. How you took away my frown I was thinking of the times When I was walking in the days It's a day I stand before you, Lord Giving you the praise of Lord We praise Oh, Lord We praise Oh, Lord We praise Oh, Lord We praise Singing oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, we praise, oh Lord, come on and bless the Lord with me, come on and bless the Lord with me. Come on and bless the Lord with me. Come on and bless the Lord with me. Come on and bless. Come on and bless the Lord. Come on and bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on and clap, come on and clap. Come on and clap your hands, y'all. Come on and clap your hands. Hallelujah. Come on, wave your hands, say hallelujah. 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 Clap your hands if you love Jesus. 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 Dance before the Lord. Come on, y'all. On and dance before the Lord. Come on and dance. Before the Lord, come on in. Hallelujah is the highest praise. Hallelujah. If you're excited, say hallelujah. All across the building, hallelujah. Go and up, say hallelujah. 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 Go with the 
shout, sing hallelujah. hallelujah. Get the excited, say hallelujah. hallelujah. If you're excited, say hallelujah. Don't stop. Don't stop. <laughs> Come on. Is there anyone here today? You're glad you are in the house of the Lord one more time. Is there anyone here today? You got a praise on your lips. You don't need no music. You don't need no one to force you. You don't need anyone to lead you into praise and worship. But you just got to praise all by yourself. Because God has been good to you. He's been better than good. Amen. Hallelujah. What a mighty, mighty God we serve. Amen. David said, I was glad when they said unto me, come, let us go into the house of the Lord. Our feet shall stand within thy gates, O Jerusalem. Amen. He said, I don't know about you, but I will bless the Lord at all times. At all times, through the pandemic, through difficulties, through strife, through struggling, good days and bad days, I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praises shall continually be in my mouth. Amen. What a mighty God we serve. We are just overjoyed to be here with you. We are overjoyed to be back in God's temple, in his house of worship, his house of prayer, and his house of praise. And we just thank God for all of you who are here today, all of you who are online, all of you who are watching us live and on the telephone. We thank you all so very much. We praise God. Amen. Does anybody else just feel the joy that is filled within this place on this day? Amen. a word from the Lord as we enter back into his temple on this another Lord's day. Again, we thank God for all of you 
uh, your part in your ministry, um, operating in your assignments. We thank God for you. Psalm 146. Psalm 146. Psalm 146, beginning at verse number one, we will read from the New Living Translation. And we find these words. Praise the Lord. Let all that I am praise the Lord. I will praise the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God with all my dying breath. In the Message Bible, it says, Hallelujah. Oh, my soul, praise God. All my life long, I'll praise God, singing songs to my God as long as I live. Heavenly Father, we bless your name. Father God, we lift you up. You're high and holy. Father God, you're awesome in all your ways. Who wouldn't serve a God like you? You've been so gracious to us. You've been so kind to us. You've been so loving to us. Lord God, you've been so faithful to us. We can't help but to say thank you. Father God, we can't help to shout hallelujah. We can't help today but to wave our hands, dear Lord, lift our voices. Father God, we can't help today to even shed tears. The joy of the Lord is our strength. How did we make it this far? Nobody but God. Nobody but God made provision. Nobody but God made ways. Nobody but God carried us through what we couldn't walk through. Nobody but God delivered us when the enemy tried to keep us in bondage. No one but God Lord we say thank you bless every person in this place those who are watching those who are listening blessings of the Lord fall upon their life the favor of the Lord overtake them Lord have thine own way Speak with our lips, think with our mind, hear with our ears. Let nothing, no man or no thing, hinder this word from going forth with power and conviction. We pray, dear God, that souls will be saved. We pray, Father God, that those who have fell away from you will come back to you. We pray that those who feel defeated will understand that they are victorious in you. We thank you now, Lord, for lifting our heads. We thank you now, Lord God, for speaking, dear God, by way of your Holy Spirit. Minister now. Revelation, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. We thank you now, Lord, and we will not fail to give you all of the honor, glory, and the praise. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Some of y'all ain't never stood up that long in church. <laughs> Amen. Verse 1 and 2 again says, Praise the Lord. Let all that I am praise the Lord. 
I will praise the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God with my dying breath. Wow. A few moments the Lord and I would like to use as a topic or subject as we move into um, this series, a season of praise and thanksgiving. A season of praise and thanksgiving. The psalm before us is the first of the five psalms known as the Hallelujah Psalms. Psalm 146 through Psalm 150. And these five psalms, they were probably written around the time that the Israel returned from a terrible time of bondage in Babylon. Understand that after they returned from exile, the Jews rebuilt the city walls of Jerusalem. They rebuilt their temple and they reestablished their nation. Commemorate the grace of God in bringing them back from the edge of extinction. These praise psalms were written to glorify the name of the Lord. It seems, it seems, the Jews were so moved by what the Lord had done in them and for them that they could not contain their praise for him. There should be someone here today on this first Sunday back in the temple after a long time that should have a praise that you simply cannot contain. Therefore, Psalms 146 through Psalm 150 begin and end with a declaration of God's praise. They call for others to become involved in the praise of the Almighty God. They all begin and end with the praise, praise ye the Lord, which translate the Hebrew word hallelujah. See, like these individuals, these people were praising the Lord because of all that he had done for them in their life. They understood the truth that their years in bondage were the direct results of their sins and downfalls. They realized that they were back in their own land by the pure grace of the almighty God. They knew that they had been punished because they had worshipped other gods and they knew that they had been brought back home by the one and only true and living God. Therefore, they are praising him because of one reason, the only reason he is worthy of all praise after all he had done done for them in their life. He could have left them where they were. He could have left us where we were, but he is worthy because he did not leave us, but he picked us up and carried us on and blessed us to see a brand new day back in the house of the Lord one more time. Let me suggest, let me suggest and remind you today that he is still worthy. Just as he did for these ancient people, God moved in grace and power to deliver our souls from the torment and bondage of our sins. He delivered us from an eternal in hell and he adopted us into his family when he saved us he brought us through and continues to carry us through a never before seen pandemic and if 
these ancient people could praise the Lord for his grace in returning them to their home. And how much more should God's redeemed people praise him for bringing us this far? Somebody said, I've come this far by faith, leading on, not man, but the Lord. I tell you today, he's worthy every day. He's worthy every day. Worthy of our love. He's worthy of our devotion. He's worthy of our obedience. He's worthy of everything that we could ever offer him. And above all, he is worthy of our praise. One thing the pandemic should have taught all of us. Is that when God has been good, and not only when he has been good, but it should have taught us uh, that at any given moment, uh, I have a right and I'm responsible uh, to open my mouth uh, and give God praise uh, for who he is. And so I pray that you didn't have to wait to get here on Sunday morning to give God a praise. I just pray that you've been praising God all week long. I pray that as you walk through your home, you will shout hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I praise you for who you are while you were drunk your automobile I pray that you are praising God and giving him worship for who he is <laughs> he's worthy of everything that we can offer him above all he's worthy of our praise the psalmist said first of all I'm committed to praise he says, he says, praise the Lord. But then he says, he says, let all that I am, every part of my being, praise the Lord. He said, I'm so committed to praising God that I've committed myself to praise the Lord as long as I live. No matter what challenges may come my way, I'll still open my mouth and give them praise. No matter what difficulties encounter my life, no matter what friends come and go, no matter what tragedies take place in my life, sometimes we lose loved ones that we love dear. But David, or but the psalmist says here that I'm committed to give him praise as long as I live. My praise is not contingent of what I'm going through or what I'm dealing with in my life. My play, praise does not stem from good days and good fortune. But my praise is internal. And my praise is my connection and my relationship with God that says if God does not do anything else in my life, he's still worthy of all praise. Says, as long as I live, as long as I have breath in my body, no, it becomes difficult at times. There's always a reason to give God praise. I know it's hard sometimes. I know it's lonely sometimes, but there's always a reason to give God praise. Help me out, Psalm 103. He declares, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases, who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies satisfied thy mouth with good things so that thy youth is renewed like eagles 
Apostle Paul even says in Ephesians 1 and 3, reminding us, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. I challenge one of you under the sound of my voice to commit yourself to giving God praise. You may not can sing. You may not be assigned to preach. You may not be ushering today. You may not be playing an instrument today. But can I tell you, there's still something that you can do. You can open up your mouth and give God a praise like never before. Says, as long as breath fills his lungs, this psalmist declares his intention is to praise the Lord. See, the real reason for genuine praise are internal and not external. We have no reason to rejoice even when life is hard. We have a reason to rejoice even when life is difficult and harsh and hard and troublesome. As the redeemed of the Lord, we must be personally involved in the business of praising the Lord. It's time out for sitting on the sideline and watching others praise him. It's time out for sitting on the sideline like he has not done anything for you or in your life. It's time out of sitting on the sideline and watching others lift their hands to the one only true and everlasting God. It's time that you get involved in the business of praising the Lord. There's a caution because he says in verse number three, don't put your confidence in powerful people. There is no help for you there. When they breathe their last, they return to the earth and all their plans die with them. He says you have to understand that there is a caution because he says that man, man is not dependable as as dependable as you think he is. Some of us has learn, have learned in our life that you can't always depend on folk like you think you can depend on folk. Psalmist instructs the congregation here to put their trust in the one who is infinitely more powerful than mortal man. Don't put your trust in something that cannot save you and cannot deliver you. See, a person's plans, he says, will die with them. And at death, the spirit of man departs and the body returns to the dust. So one who trusts in man will have no reason for praising. And it isn't long before most of us learn that you can trust in man like you think you can. Man can be helpful. Don't get me wrong. They can be helpful from time to time. But man can never offer you eternal help. Man cannot put you into heaven. Man cannot put you into hell. Man cannot break or loose the bonds and the chains that only God has the key to break or loose in your life. And so he says you got to be cautious. You got to be cautious giving your praise to men. Trend in our society is to give praise to actors and singers and athletes. The trend in the church is to give praise to preachers and singers. But the only one who is worthy of our praise is the Lord God Almighty. I need your encouragement from time to time, Lord knows. But you don't have to put me up on no pedestal because I'm going to let you down. What you got to do is continue to look at God, encourage me, continue to praise God and pray for me. Don't put me and praise me in a place that only God. Should occupy. He says, he says he's the only one, not man, but he, God, is the only one who can redeem us from our sins 
and change our eternal destiny. Some shows us why the person who knows the Lord has many reasons to praise his name. I'm almost done says there's a cause. We have a cause. We have a reason to praise God. He says in verse number five, the way of happiness, help, and hope is to rely on God. The God of Abraham, Isaac. That is the God of the undeserving. And here are some reasons why he is worthy of all our praise and all of our confidence. He says, instead, get help from the God of Jacob. He's telling them, you have to learn to put your, put your hope in God. And when you put your hope in God, the Message Bible says, put your hope in God and no real blessing. What are the real blessings? It says and identifies them in the text before us. Blessing is being connected to the great omnipotent creator the one that made heavens and earth the sea and the stars and all the creatures in the universe and if he can do that and he did what can't he do for you and for me in our life he says you got to put your hope in God and no real blessing whether the real blessing the real blessing is being connected to the one and only dependable one and I know some folk want to try to be dependable, but we can't be there for each other all the time. But he says, this is the great dependable one, the one who keeps truth forever. It is impossible for him to lie. It is impossible for God to go back on his word. It is impossible for God to tell you that, that one thing is true today and it's wrong on tomorrow. There is no risk, in other words, involved in trusting in the Lord God Almighty because he will never fall. The blessing is being connected to the great advocate, the one who helps the helpless. Have you ever been helpless in your life? If not physically, we've all been helpless spiritually. And only God can advocate and come to our aid and come to our rescue. Not only that, but being connected to the great provider. How many understand that he has been the one that has given provision through the season that we have been in. And he's the one that has provided and will provide and is providing for us right now. Said he gives food to the hungry. Both in, watch this, spiritual and physical. There's some times that I need to move back from the physical plate and allow God to put the spiritual plate in front of me that I may eat and that I may gain strength spiritually. Brings us to his feasting house. He prepares a table before you even in the presence of your enemies. See, the real blessing is being connected to uh, the great emancipator, the one who sets the captives free from human oppression, from the chains of sin, from the grip of the world, from the bondage of the devil, from selfish living. The real blessing is being connected to uh, the great sight giver, the one who opens blinded eyes, both physically and spiritually. Some mentally, some spiritually, some by birth, some by accident, and some by choice. But no case is too incredible for him. The real blessing is being connected to the great uplifter. Have you ever been down in your life? Have you ever felt depressed in your life? Have you ever felt low in your life? How many can testify that I, I felt low, I felt depressed, but God stepped in and changed my outcome and lifted my spirits and lifted my head 
one more time. Sometime I gotta, I gotta go to God and say, Lord, I, I, I feel uh, down. I feel uh, frustrated. I feel depressed. But God, I need you to do it again for me. I know I was just talking to you a little while, but Lord, I need you to lift my head again. Some folk get tired of lifting you up. But how many understand that God will never get tired of lifting you up from where you are? He is the great uplifter. Lifting you. Lifting those burdens off of you. Lifting those worries off of you. Lifting that affliction off of you. Lifting that trouble off of you. Lifting that sorrow off of you. And nobody knows. says not only that but the blessing is being connected to the great lover of men one who loves unconditionally one who does not stop loving you because you fall and you mess up one that does not stop loving you because you don't say it the right way or do it the right way when writer says it's the characteristics of God Foundation for praise. That he loves those who obey law, who do that which is right. See, the real blessing is being connected to the great protector. The one who protects not only exiles, but all of us have a testimony of how God has protected us and how he continues to protect us. Through seen and unseen danger. He tells us that the pilgrims in the text, they find a true paraclete in Jehovah. One who upholds the fatherless and the widow and all others who have no human helper to aid them. One who frustrates the best plans of the ungodly. Men and makes the way of the wicked end in ruin. The great blessing is in knowing and being connected to the God of all gods. The God who is high and lifted up. The God that there is no other before him. The God that is, was, and will be. The God that is for always and forever. The God that is able to frustrate the plans of the enemy. Can I tell you something? There were some enemies coming after you during the course of this week, but you did not know. God stepped in and frustrated the plans of the enemy. He says, the reason, the reason, the real blessing is knowing the great internal king. Our God who will and shall reign forever. To all generations from everlasting to everlasting. Thou art God. As to hear my father say that scripture many times. And even in some of his prayers, he would quote scripture and say, from everlasting to everlasting. Thou art God. says I'm connected the real blessing to the eternal king who shall reign forever that's why the psalmist could shout that's why he could say hallelujah that's why he could shout praise the Lord that's why we made it this far Because he was connected to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. 
Is there anybody here today you're glad you know him for yourself? And because you know him for yourself, you've got a praise on your lips. You're able to shout, praise ye the Lord. You're able to shout, hallelujah. We should always be, we should always be able to praise the Lord every single day. Every day, not just on Sunday. But every single day we should be able to praise the Lord. We should be able to praise him today for his grace that is always sufficient. We should be able to praise him for his love that is always abundant. We should be able to praise him today for his everlasting arms surrounding us. We should be able to praise him today for his mercy that endures forever. We should be able to praise him today for his promises are always sure. We should be able to praise him today. Praise the Lord for what he will do in our life. I'm not praising him for the burdens that I have, but I'm praising him for the ones that is already lifted in my life. We ought to be able to praise the Lord today for the heels that he helps us to claim. We should be able to praise the Lord today for the bills that he already paid. We should be able to praise the Lord today for the job that he already helped you to gain. We should be able to praise the Lord today for the home that he's already helped us to buy. We should be able to praise the Lord today for his mercy as well as his grace that he rained down on us through the pandemic and even now we should be able to praise the Lord today for giving us one more day to meet together in his house to give him glory and to lift his name up we ought to be able to yeah, to give him praise and give him glory today because when the enemy thought it was over for us when the enemy thought we would never rise again when the enemy thought we were down and out it was nobody but God that lifted us back up to where we belong and gave us strength to continue to move on in his assignment David said, for in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me upon a rock. He shall hide me. We should be able today to praise the Lord for being that place of great protection in our life. You should be able today to praise the Lord for being your refuge in your time of trouble. We are to praise him because some of us, we were down to our last, didn't know what we were going to do. But it was God, the great provider, that provided for our each and every need. We are to praise the Lord today because through all our God, he supplied all of your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. But most of all, we ought to praise God today for he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him and by his stripes, we are healed. That's why my song of praise today is what can wash away my sin. 
begins. What can make me whole again? Nothing, nothing, nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is that flow that makes me white as snow. No other felt I know. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Jesus, the pride son of Palestine. Jesus, the epitome of perfection. Jesus, the prince of peace. Jesus, the everlasting father. Can you praise him today? For the king of kings. Can you praise him Day. for the everlasting father can you praise him today because it was nobody it was nobody but God all by himself that bless you that bless me to see another day Season of praise and thanksgiving. I don't need anyone to praise him for me. I don't need to hide my praise. You don't need to hide your praise. I don't need one, no one to force me or pull me. It's been too good to keep your mouth closed. You may be here, you may be watching, you may be listening. You don't know the Lord as your personal savior today. The Bible tells us that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus. No matter who you are, no matter what you've done, Bible tells us, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes on him should not perish but have everlasting life. This is your opportunity. You can give your life to him, humble yourself before him, ask him to come into your life, forgive you for your sins, acknowledge him that he was born of a virgin, acknowledge that he went to Calvary's cross to die in your place knowledge that he got up out of the grave. Receive him as your savior. Receive the Holy Spirit as your guide. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Thank you, God, for your spirit. We thank you for your word. Thank you for giving us an opportunity to give you praise and honor. We thank you for your house of worship. We thank you for every person. We pray, dear God, your Holy Spirit has ministered to every person, dear Lord, who has heard and seen this day in this word. We thank you now, dear Lord. We thank you, dear God, for looking beyond our faults, supplying our needs. We thank you for redeeming us, for filling refilling us, replenishing us. Lord God, you deserve all praise. You deserve all of our worship. We say thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray.